hi guys and welcome to another vlog <laughs> so i'm finally doing it i'm finally doing my birthday haul i have been telling you guys over the past few videos probably that I, I wanted to share with you guys what i got for my birthday so here we are we're about to do it now girl so it's gonna be a long one because i got a lot of things <laughs> okay so get you your favorite beverage coffee tea water whatever your favorite beverage is and a snack and let's get into it girl because i got a lot to show you Yeah, so we're just going to start off with um, some jewelry pieces. Um, I did get a lot of accessories in this haul. Um, I don't think I only got like two clothing pieces. So the rest of these things are accessories because to me, I feel like um, you can change up your look just by changing out your accessories. So um, yeah, so yeah, get ready for a lot of accessories. Um, so we're going to start with actually what I have on now. I have on this little heart necklace that I got from uh, Free People. And uh, we know that like these heart detail, you know, pieces are really in right now and trendy. So I actually was debating between this and I think of one that ones that I found on Urban Outfitters. But these were on sale. I say these because I also have this in another color. Because when I like something, I tend to get it in multiple colors. So um, I got it in like this gold, like an antique type of gold. This actually looks like something that you would get from the antique store which I was a little iffy about because I thought it was going to be like this you know kind of more like a shinier gold but it's more like a dull kind of gold um but like I said I kind of like that because it looks makes it looks more vintage um so anyway so I got the um gold one and then I also got it in this silver kind of antique silver it's more like a gunmetal if you will um and it has like this paper clip detail to it so yeah, so I absolutely love these pieces and um, I love statement pieces. This is kind of like a mixture of like statement and like dainty because the, the chain part is more dainty and the um, actual charm is more like statement-y. So. But I just absolutely love it and I've um, been wanting to get like some uh, heart-shaped jewelry before but just never, never really went and looked. So got, glad I got those two pieces. Um, and then as far as more jewelry, I went to ASOS and got some things or shopped on ASOS and got um, some more jewelry pieces. So I got those were the necklaces. Now I got some earrings. And so um, the first pair of earrings I got are these. And these are like, I don't know what kind of what you call this detail. I mean, you can see the shape and everything, but it has like some pearl detail in it. There we go. I wanted the camera to really focus on it. It has like some pearl detail on it. It's kind of like this twisted type of a detail, um, which looks very much so like antique or like old school. So absolutely love it. And um, I saw they had it on ASOS and just so just thought I had to get it. And then, um, like I said, I've been wanting to get some heart-shaped things or heart-shaped jewelry. And so I found these on ASOS, these little heart-shaped earrings, little stud earrings, and just thought these were cute. They're definitely different from the necklace, so I probably, actually probably wouldn't wear them together because that would just be too much. Um, I would do one or the other, so I think this would be cute when my hair is up or, um, yeah, I just love these earrings, these little heart-shaped earrings. And then the next thing I got are these little hoop, like a half hoop kind of a detail earring. And these have like little um, stud, not stud, like little um, beaded detail on them. And I just thought these were so cute. These are the reason why I actually went on the site. I think I saw these on like a Facebook advertisement or Instagram advertisement, one or the other. And just thought these were so cute. And just a cute, you know, statement piece to wear. So um, especially like when my hair is down. Um, or not hair is down when my hair is up or back or whatever. Like these statement pieces, these statement, you know, earrings will be cute. Um, like when you wear your hair like in a ponytail or just like in a slip back bun or like up or whatever. These will be cute. So, um, so yeah, so those are all the jewelry pieces that I got. And then the next thing I got, the single thing I got from this brand from Mango, um, is this little clutch bag. I've been wanting to get this clutch bag forever. <laughs> I probably for the last couple of months, like before Christmas, I was trying to get this clutch and I would put, you know, my email in to be notified when it came back in stock. And then whenever I got the email, I would go and, you know, try to get it and it would be out of stock. Like I was just like too slow, I guess. So finally, after about three or four times of putting my email in, I finally was able to get it. So don't neglect putting your email into an item, you know, into your 
um, into the website if you are really wanting an item because yeah I was persistent I was like you know what I'm, 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 I'm gonna be persistent if it's meant for me to have it I'll get it and so I was able to get it so but it's just like this um, like sequin red clutch and I just absolutely love it um, I just thought it'd be cute to wear um, you know as a statement piece with like a simple outfit um, or I can wear it you know date night um, I don't think it'll fit my phone I have the iPhone Pro or the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I think. So it's definitely not gonna fit my phone in here. Um, definitely, especially not with the case. I don't know. Let me take off the stuffing and see. But I don't know. Will it fit my phone? I guess it kind of will. It's, it's a tight squeeze in here. Um, I would definitely have to take the phone case off in order for it to fit. But I probably wouldn't put my phone in here. I would probably just put like my card holder and like some lip product or something my keys some hand sanitizer maybe like it'll fit like your essentials because it's pretty deep even though it's small it's still pretty deep and it has like a chain this chain um strap with it that i think is just so cute it looks very like vintage um and i'm gonna have to fix this chain because this chain is kind of tangled up um here we go so yeah just definitely definitely looks like a vintage handbag like something that i would get from like a vintage store so um yeah definitely love that i'm so glad that i was persistent and didn't give up and was able to get that so that's just like a tip in life is be persistent and never give up because you just never know you know what may happen so but yeah so so glad i was able to get my hand on that bag um let's see and then i think we'll go with what um i got from my husband so these things i just showed you is what i got so the next few items i'm going to share with you guys are things that my husband bought me um we went on the saturday before my birthday so my birthday was on january 15th for those of you who are new here um <clears throat> yeah my birthday was january 15th which was on a monday mlk day um and we went to the mall on the saturday before that and my husband just took me did a little shopping spree took me shopping um so yeah so the first store we ended up going to was adidas um i tried to order these shoes online and i actually i did order them i didn't try i did and um i don't know they sent me an email saying that i don't know if i guess the, the size my size ended up going out of stock um so anyway i didn't get them so i took my chances went to we went to the adidas store at lennox mall in um the buckhead atlanta area and i was able to get them so in my size so these are the shoes so i wore these actually on my birthday so if you're not new here then you've already seen these but if you are new these are my new um sneakers that i got for my birthday so here's what they look like and they are the adidas samba in this new colorway i think this is the new the newest colorway that they have now or that they just came out with and it's like in this black and cream they do have or they did have some that came out that was like black with like gray and those are the ones i wanted to get i don't know why i didn't get those i really wanted those because i love um the girl girlies that were styling those up so i just never bit the bullet and got them so i saw these and was like yes um i like the black and cream kind of color combination and yeah these were i think uh, yeah us a hundred dollars so which is pretty much what the adidas sambas are um i love the adidas sambas if you've been following me then you already know i have these in the white which those um that the ones that i have in the white i've had those in my wardrobe for like 10 years so i almost got rid of them so <laughs> glad i didn't um because they are huge and trendy right now my daughter is saying that they are overrated mind you she's 11. <laughs> but she says people are saying they're overrated i don't care i like them they're comfortable i wore these on my birthday all day we did a lot of walking we went to the mlk center we went to pont city market and walked around like walked on the belt line like yeah we did like 10,000 i did like 10,000 steps in these shoes that day so and my feet did not hurt at all so <laughs> um i don't care if they're overrated and people are tired of seeing them i'm gonna wear them I'm going to wear my stuff, girl, and if I like something, I'm going to wear it, regardless if it's trendy or if people say they're overrated. I like them, and I'm going to wear them. So, um, but yeah, love this new colorway. So glad I got these, and they're like in this um, suede detail, I think, in my birthday vlog, because I did show these in uh, my birthday vlog. I think I said that they're made out of velvet. I don't know what I was thinking. These are def This is definitely not velvet texture, girl. This is suede, <laughs> so sorry about that. So suede and leather, and they also came with some white um 
with some white shoelaces. I would never put white shoelaces in these. They're just too stark white. I feel like they should have been um, an off-white, like the same color as the shoe, right? These are stark white, like white white, like snow white. <laughs> they just wouldn't look, they just don't look good. I don't know, you guys let me know, but yeah. I don't like the white shoelaces. Um, I have shoes with um, that come with other shoelaces that I would put in these before I would put this stark white. Um, but yeah, just to let you know, they did come with extra shoelaces, but love these and definitely going to be getting my wear out of them. I've already been wearing them, so that, that just lets me know I really like something. Like, if I wear it immediately, <laughs> like, that lets me know I really like something. Like, I wore these within two days of getting them, so definitely going to be rocking those out a whole lot. So, yeah, so that's the first thing that my husband got me was these Adidas um, bus from the Adidas store at Lenox Mall. And then the next store he went to was Aritzia. Um, Aritzia to me is kind of like a better Zara. <laughs> it's like Zara, but make it better. <laughs> so and I've never shopped on Aritzia. I've never shopped from that store, from that brand, but I hear a lot of, you know, fashion, you know, you know, YouTubers, um, especially the Canadian ones, a lot of Canadian, I, I, I follow a lot of Canadian um, YouTubers and they love Aritzia. They love a good Aritzia moment and I see why. They have good quality pieces. So um, I decided to go in there and really wasn't expecting to buy anything but you know I saw a few things that I wanted and actually a few things that I had on my wish list so thought I would pick some stuff up. Um, my husband bought these things for me for my birthday so um, the first thing I got was a hat. So I am a collector of hats. I love baseball caps. I just, I have a problem, but it's a good problem because, you know, when you're having a bad hair day, you don't feel like combing your hair. A hat is, is to me, a, your go-to. Like, wear a hat. Put a hat on your head, girl, and you're fine. So, um, yeah, I saw this hat, and I really liked it for the green, for the color. Cause my, one of my favorite colors besides red is green. And so I love the green color of this. And I don't know what this symbol means. Um, I don't know if that means, like, infinity. It looks like an infinity symbol, right? Um, I don't know if that's what that means. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I didn't really care for the symbol. I really care for the color. So I really like this. And it was actually on sale for $9.99. I think they had these in uh, several other colors as well. But... I really like the green so um so that's the first thing I got and then the next thing I got I actually got it in multiple colors and I got this like puffy type of bag and these bags are super trendy right now like several brands um sell bags like this as a matter of fact Koss one of my favorite uh, retail stores they sell this um kind of bag as well and I actually had had it on my um fall fashion wish list and so I saw they had it at Aritzia so I just went ahead and got it um, so yeah, it's like in this cream kind of khaki color, if you will, and it's the perfect size. Um, I think the one from Cos that I was going to get was a little bit bigger, and I love, you know, big bags, and we big bags are trendy right now, but I really just prefer like a medium sized bag, really, that will fit my essentials in, especially like if I'm running errands. So I thought this was really cute, just like a little shoulder bag, I could put it on my shoulder, you know, and be fine, and yeah, this will fit all the things. It's pretty you know nice and spacious so this definitely will fit all of my essentials and this is from the brand Babaton I'm trying to see what this um, hat this is from the brand TNA like T the initials TNA and um, it's another popular brand from Aritzia and this is from the brand Babaton which is another popular brand from Aritzia so um, and this was what was this this was $58 so not not too bad for a cute little handbag um, and then I also got it in the black, which is really, I want a black one, um, cause I don't have a lot of black handbags. And so I wanted this like real, real pl like plain black handbags with like no kind of logo or anything like that on it. And so I just love the texture, um, of these bags. I think that's what really what draws me. Cause it's just basically just a, like a, you know, um, fabric -y handbag um but i like the texture of it because i like to make you know create interesting outfits um with texture and so i think this is just another way to add some interest to your outfit like this um uh cable knit sweater i have on with like a textured bag is just a vibe to me so um but yeah so this these two bags really love check these off of my uh, wish list um items so definitely love these and then um the last thing i got is from um the brand babaton as well and it is a um 
denim midi skirt like a denim pleated midi skirt and i just absolutely love this skirt i saw it in the store and just i was kind of going i was kind of like um like a little hesitant to get it because it is expensive this skirt was a hundred and what was it 148 dollars so this was expensive but um because it is a piece that i feel like can be worn year round like um yeah this is a piece that is not something that you wear just one season right like it's a piece that i can literally wear now in the winter time styled up with like some knee-high boots i can wear it in the spring with like a light you know um like cardigan or something i can wear it in the summertime with like a t-shirt i can wear it in the fall with you know i don't know another like sweater or something like it's just a piece that i can really style up and wear year round so that's why I got it because I was like, you know what? It's not a piece that I can, you know, will put away in stores. Like I'll always have this in my everyday wardrobe, in my basics. I feel like this is a good basic, a good essential. Um, you know, you can't go wrong. And one of my fashion goals was to wear more skirts. Um, and I feel like I do wear a lot of skirts, but um, I want to be more intentional about it this year. So, and I love pleated things and I love denim. So, you know, kind of like checks both those boxes of denim and pleating. So, definitely glad I got it. And um, I didn't think my husband was going to get it because it is expensive. But, again, when it's my birthday, you know, he knows I like to treat myself. So, he treated me to this, to these pieces. But, definitely love this skirt. Like, and it's super thick, too. It's, like, really good quality. So, it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. Um because of the quality and because it is a versatile piece that can be worn year round like i don't have to sell you guys on it you know like i'm not trying to sound like a salesman um but i think i'm just trying to justify to buying it although like i said it's my birthday i don't have to justify anything when it's my birthday so but yeah so anyway that is the last thing that i got from Arixia. and um like i said never shopped there so definitely gonna try to make it a uh, my uh, you know make it my mission to go in there and shop more often um although it is a very pricey store um i'm definitely gonna have to like whatever pieces that i do get in there because it's pricey um all right so the next um place our next place that i shopped at um this is a, where we went to um on my birthday we went to mlk um the mlk center or the king center and we went to um pont city market and so um, at Pont City Market, for those that don't know, Pont City Market is a place in um, Atlanta. They have like different restaurants and different like little boutiques and shops and stuff that you can go to. And so we went to this African shop. I was just curious. We saw some stuff in there and just was like, you know, let's just go and just, just walk in here and just see what, what, what we can see. And actually I saw like this nice like shell like bib necklace in there that's really what caught my eye and made me go in the store and i actually was trying to debate between that shell necklace and this item so i went with this because i just felt i don't know they both were expensive and over a hundred dollars <laughs> so i just felt better about getting this item and getting this for over a hundred dollars than i did the necklace although my husband was willing to get the necklace too but i was like nah I don't want to get the necklace let me think because i was on the fence about getting the necklace so i ended up getting this so it's from um the store is called bombshell b-o-m-b-c-h-e-l and i actually have a website called shopbombshell.com and it's actually a store that was founded in monrovia liberia so it's an african store and um yeah i just saw a few pieces in there that i like they had some jewelry pieces in there that was really cute so i saw this item I just had to get it and like I love like this little like satiny um, dust bag that it came in so this is the piece that I got from the store and it's so cute I love it. it's like a little clutch and I love it I don't have anything like this at all and so that's really why I wanted to get it because it's a unique handbag and I feel like I feel like this is my luxury piece <laughs> even though it wasn't that expensive it wasn't you know too expensive or anything and I didn't break the bank or anything I feel like this is my luxury piece like I'd rather have this over a Gucci handbag any day because this is so unique and you know I'm supporting the motherland you know I'm supporting a black owned business and so yeah because uh, I usually get um, let me back up because I don't even think I explained this usually on my birthday um, when I do these birthday hauls because I do a birthday haul every year or at least I have been for the past well since I've been doing YouTube um, and I usually get like a luxury piece or the whole haul actually would be a luxury um, haul 
this isn't a luxury haul i mean a lot of these things are expensive but it's not like luxury prices like extra you know astronomical crazy prices so this year i didn't get any luxury pieces because i just didn't have anything on my radar so um yeah so that's kind of like the backstory um so i don't have any luxury pieces this year um but like i said i'm considering this to be like a replace of my luxury piece like Typically, I get Gucci items. Or the last couple of years, I've been getting, getting like Gucci items, and so um, this is my Gucci item, okay? Um, or my Gucci item. Um, yeah, I'd rather get this and have this over a Gucci handbag any day. Like I'm supporting, like I said, I'm supporting a black-owned business. I'm supporting um, African business, and yeah, it's really nice and it's unique. Not everybody's gonna be walking around with something like this. And I'll be different you know what I mean and um, I feel like this will be cute with like any kind of animal print like I just really am gonna be feeling that um, I have a lot of animal print pieces so I'm definitely gonna wear a lot of my whenever I wear my animal print pieces I'm definitely gonna be rocking this handbag so um, and it was um, $178 so um, pretty pricey well not too pricey considering um, like the price of like luxury of like Gucci or whatever um, I think it's actually pretty a good price and um, it has like a little handle that's magnetic and it's huge it will fit literally everything in here that I need to fit and um, yeah so um, they actually had I was debating between this one with like the black handle and they also had one with the brown handle that kind of was similar to this so I went with the black I don't know I just like the black better and it just looked better to me um but yeah i absolutely love this bag and definitely can like put it in the crook of my arm and just kind of wear it like this or really i would just really just wear it as a top handle so um, i'm trying to see if it has any place where i can possibly put like a strap or something i don't think it does but that's fine that's okay like i said i can just wear it like this it'll be cute to wear to date night um yeah i can't wait to style this handbag up like i love it so yes yeah, so in case you want to get it um like i said the website is called shop bombshell c-h-e-l dot com i'll put it put the link down below um um or put it on the screen um in case you guys want to support a black owned or african owned business and get like cute unique pieces like i really love this bag like this is probably my favorite piece out of all of the pieces that i got and the items that i purchased um and got for my birthday this one is definitely my favorite all right so um i had to change my battery y'all because i've been talking this is actually the second time that i'm filming this because i realized that my address was showing <laughs> from a lot of the um boxes and things so yeah i couldn't have i couldn't be putting my address out there in, in these internet streets like that so this is my second time filming this all <laughs> so my battery finally went dead so i had to replace my battery um, Alright, so those are all the things that my husband bought me. Now we're going to get back to the things that I got myself. And so the next brand that we are going to dive into is going to be NAKD or Naked Fashion, I think is what it's called. Or NAKD, whichever. Um, I like this brand. They are a Scandinavian brand. And I love European... European. <laughs> I love European brands. Um, because it's just, yeah, I just love the, like... That whole European aesthetic is just so clean and just, yeah, I just love it. And so I love NAKD brand um, in itself. So, um, again, I just got some accessories. Actually, I got a clothing item too from there. Um, but I definitely got a lot of accessories and handbags. So, let me just share with you guys the first piece that I got. And so, here is the first handbag that I got. And it's so cute. This is, it kind of reminds me of like an Hermes bag. I think the Hermes is it the kelly i can i never can i never can get uh distinguish between the two the kelly i think it's the kelly um and i love like this green color like i said i love green and i just thought this was so cute like i said like a little um this is the dupe of the Hermes kelly bag i think is what it is so it has like the same like little um closure piece here that the Hermes bag has so I just thought it would be cute. I definitely cannot afford a Hermes bag. Those bags cost in like the tens to twenty thousand dollars. I would never pay that for a handbag ever. I don't care how much money I make. I will never spend that much money on a handbag. I just, I don't know. I just don't think I could. Um, but yeah, so I love this. It's just like small. I think I feel like it could probably fit a lot of my pieces. I haven't taken all the packaging off of it, but I feel like it could fit a lot of my. Um, essentials like my um 
my phone and just my essentials so i love bags that i can fit my essentials in so um yeah definitely love this love like the silver um hardware on it too because i'm trying to get into wearing silver so i think i think it also comes with a strap also comes with a strap too i feel like it does because i think on the website the model had it like crossbody um but yeah so i think there's a strap in here too i'm not going to open it up because this video is already so long but stay tuned because all these pieces i clearly am going to be styling up in one of my styling videos so stay tuned you know like and subscribe so that you don't miss on you know miss out on the styling of any of these pieces so um but yeah so that's the first thing i got from nakd and then the next handbag i got i really love this handbag oh my god like i really outdid myself with this haul as far as the handbags i went handbag crazy and i don't even know where i'm gonna even put these handbags because i have so many um <laughs> i have to get rid of some handbags in order to fit these that i just got but anywho so this is the next handbag that i got and it is so cute like this looks like a designer handbag it looks like bottega it is definitely a bottega dupe so we got we're, we're working with dupes here <laughs> um but yeah i love this it has um the inside of it here has the strap and again this will fit all my things and i can't tell what color this is you guys let me know what color you think this is on the website i think they're calling it brown it looks burgundy to me i don't know what color this is i mean i love it it's so nice and rich and just regal but i don't know what color this is um like i said the website it says it's brown and it does kind of look like a brown um but it definitely also looks burgundy so it's like a burgundy brown if you will so um either way i really love it i love the woven detail on it like it's just like i said it looks like a designer bag um so it's really good quality and i love it i love bags like this again like i said with texture um definitely love this bag so um the prices i don't think are on here but everything that i showed you guys today um or that i will be showing you guys i will link down in the description box in case you're interested in anything that i purchased so definitely be sure to check down the in the description box um for all the details of all the pieces that i'm sharing with you guys today so but yeah definitely love that bag and then here is the next bag i got um this one i'm a little bit disappointed about um i think it's because um it's just kind of like shoved in the bag with the rest of the stuff so it's kind of like i don't know it's kind of lost it's the shape is kind of like i don't know it's just kind of like misshapen if you will um this bag is also a dupe of a of a designer bag i don't know which one i think it's a bag from the row maybe um but i love the shape of it like it just like this like rectangular shape and it has silver hardware and it opens up like this with a zipper detail so again a nice bag that can fit all my stuff but yeah it's just misshapen from i guess being in the packaging i guess being shipped um so it's just kind of warped a little bit um i've been wanting to get a bag like this too i love like these again shoulder bags i just thought this would look really cute and just i don't know like um to be dressed up i guess if you will or dressed down but i really love the shape of it but I just wish wish it wasn't so misshapen. I guess I have to put my stuff in here to kind of, you know, put it back to its shape. But it definitely looks, on the website at least, it doesn't right now. But on the website, it definitely looks like a designer handbag. Like that minimalistic, like, dare I say, quiet luxury um, kind of brand. Or in that kind of, you know, along that kind of line, you know, lines of like quiet luxury kind of bag. So really love this bag. Um, but again, like I said, I got to kind of really get to where it's not so misshapen because it definitely is but i just thought this was so cute and so I just had to get it so love it and then the next handbag like i went handbag crazy i went handbag crazy um the next handbag i got from nakd is this one and i think this one is is advertised as burgundy no this one is advertised as brown maybe this other one let me show you the comparison and the colors i'm trying to think what is this one this one okay so this one i'm sorry i got them confused um this one is advertised as burgundy although it does kind of look brown so i don't know if you can see the difference this one is advertised as brown color this one is burgundy now that you put it side by side you can kind of tell that this one looks more so burgundy but it is advertised as burgundy this is the one that is advertised as brown and again this is another like bottega dupe and i wanted a brown i've been wanting a brown bottega dupe and i just haven't been able to find one so i saw this on nakd and just had to get it 
um but this one is um advertised as brown and the hardware is actually the same color as the bag which i actually like that because i can wear this with literally any kind of metallic you know silver or gold um but yeah i love this bag and definitely going to rock it and just super excited um but yeah it, it looks it kind of also looks a little burgundy it looks like a dark burgundy <laughs> Maybe it's just me. I don't know what kind of brown I was expecting, but it definitely looks more of like a dark burgundy. But I guess it just kind of depends on what you wear it with. So, like with black, it definitely looks brown. Yeah, but I love it. And definitely am excited to rock it. And it's just, it looks like it can carry a whole bunch of stuff. It has a lot of room in it. Like, probably more room than I can, that I really need. But only thing is that the zipper like the opening is a little smaller than i was expecting um i don't know it's just weird like the opening is very small so i don't know i feel like the way that the handle is i don't know if you really call this a handle but this part here it just i don't know it's weird the way that this part is on here like i feel like the zipper i don't know it's just the zipper part or the opening is a little bit small so i mean i obviously can fit my phone in here i just put my phone in the long way but the zipper part of the opening is a little bit short but anyway so love that and then the next item i got are some stirrup leggings and i love these i love gray gray is another trending color so i just got some stirrup leggings and they have like a pleat kind of detail or like this this detail here going along the middle part of it and here are the stirrups here so I have some black stirrup leggings and I don't know why I went gray. Um, I thought this would be cute to wear with like a gray um, sweater or like a gray, um, one of my gray blazers in like a white tee or like a white button up shirt. Just thought it would be cute. So um, I'm trying to not wear as many leggings this year, but I told myself I can wear leggings, but they have to be more of a dressy legging, kind of like stirrup leggings. They can't be like a workout legging. So um but yeah so i just thought these were cute and let's see what size that i get these in extra large and they definitely don't look like an extra large it looks smaller than extra large but um hopefully they'll fit i mean they're super stretchy so obviously these will fit so um but yeah definitely love those and then the last two items i got are some accessories um i think i mentioned in like things that i'm not gonna wear video i forgot what i titled that video or things um trends things trends that i'm not gonna wear um in 2024 and i said bows i put bows in there but when i what i meant by that is like bows like everywhere like all over my body i would probably never do that but i do like bows so um i saw this on the website this little bow and it has like a little um this little strap these strap that's like this little closure detail here um so you can like wear it like in your hair um i don't know how i'd wear this like y'all let me know does this look does this look cute or does this make me look like i'm 12 i don't know i really don't know uh what i was thinking i thought it was cute um i definitely will probably wear this whenever i have my extensions in and probably like put it in the back like this and like maybe wear my hair like in half up half down and just like put the bow back here with my extensions i think that's the only way this will really work um but i just thought it was cute um, I don't think I can, I wish it was like multi-use where I can like put it on like my clothing or something like that. That probably would be cute that, or would have been cute as like a little brooch maybe. I don't know, but I just thought it was cute and saw it on the website. Just thought I would try it out and see. Like it's a bow, but it's nothing, it's not like too crazy if you will. So, um, but yeah, so we'll see how I get along with that. And then the next item I got is actually a brooch and I thought this was really cute um like floral appliques is also huge right now or just floral in general is huge so i saw this brooch and just fell in love with it on the website and just had to i just had to get it so yeah so here is the brooch and it is super just oversized and big like yeah and it has like the little part here that you can you know um attach to your clothing or whatever you want to put it on like i would put this on um, like one of my hats, I have some hats too, or like, um, yeah, I like that whole look of like putting a brooch on your hat. I think I did that in one of my style hacks or showed you guys in one of my style hacks video. Um, but yeah, so just wear it like a little brooch. I think that'll be cute. And yeah, I love like the color of it too. It's like a dark red 
color which red is also a huge color trend right now so um but yeah so those are the little accessories that i got i really love this floral it's so pretty right and it's so pretty so yeah so those are the just the only accessories that i got from nakd so um absolutely love those i don't know how i'm gonna wear or if i'm even gonna wear that red bow i may end up having to give that to my daughter we'll see um but i think it's cute anyway so all right, so those are all the things that I got from NAKD. All right, and the last brand that I got is from uh, Just Fab. Um, I got, I racked up on Just Fab. I got a lot of things on Just Fab. These next few items are going to be shoes. Um, I forgot, I shouldn't say I forgot, um, but I tend to forget every month that I have a, you know, like a monthly subscription to Just Fab, and every month they charge me. <laughs> I have, y'all, just this just goes to show you really have to pay attention to what you're doing because yeah i have a 29 credits on just fab <laughs> yes i said 29 so that equals to like 29 purchases that i could possibly create on just fab um yeah so needless to say after i use up my you know all my little credits i'm definitely going to cancel that subscription because i don't need that subscription and to be charged i will save money just by canceling that subscription because i get charged 50 dollars a month and I don't buy shoes and I don't buy shoes on that site <laughs> so but I did this time because it was my birthday so and I guess it's these things were kind of free but not really because I've already prepaid for them but they're free because I didn't pay for them because I had credits I don't know girl math girl girl math but yeah so the next few items I got are from or all the next items that you're gonna see are gonna be from just fab and they're in huge boxes so I may have to maneuver some of this stuff around um let me just go with what i have out because i've been wearing this piece and it is i've been into fur if you've been following me i love fur um that whole mob wife vibe or aesthetic is in right now with like you know a um fur coat and you know girlies are dressing up with like fur coats now and call themselves mob wives i just this this new generation they they are very creative <laughs> i will say that they're very creative as far as their titles on things, but a lot of these things that they're, they think they're creating are things that have been around for years. Um, my daughter was like, Mom, you like a mob wife with that? I'm like, honey, I've been doing this for years. This isn't a trend for me. I've been wearing, you know, um, fur coats for years. <laughs> so, no, I'm not a mob wife. I'm just a wife. I'm a pastor's wife. So, you know, <laughs> not the same thing, but, you know. Uh, but anyway, I'm rambling. First thing I got, and this is from um, these next few items I said are from Just Fab, and it's this cute um, fur coat old fur coat that I got and I love the color of this this is so pretty um, I saw this and I just knew I had to get it I don't have a fur coat in this color and I've been rocking this and wearing this like crazy um, I wore this the Saturday yeah the Saturday of my birthday where we went um, to the mall we actually went out to eat um, to for I think it was brunch it wasn't brunch because we didn't have brunch food but we went out to eat and I took a picture in the restaurant the restaurant had like this floral wall I'll try to pop a picture so you guys can see but the restaurant had like this floral like floral wall so I took a picture with this on or I wore this that day and took a picture um, but I love this it's so cute and just so comfortable and I definitely feel like that girl with it on so I love fur, full fur coats I have a whole huge collection of them um, I got this in a extra large because I wanted it to be kind of big and I didn't want it to, you know, fit too big. And I just didn't know. I don't typically buy clothing pieces from Just Fab um, or whenever I was buying things from there because I haven't buy, bought, obviously haven't bought anything on there in years because I have 29 credits on there. Um, but I just didn't know how the clothing pieces were. So I could have actually gotten this in a large, maybe even a medium because it is huge and oversized. But um, yeah, I just loved it. It's not, you know, pretty fair quality like the little uh faux fur it's not like shedding and like going all over the place so definitely love this i feel like a little snow bunny with this on but yeah so i just want to share with that first because that's the, the piece that i've been wearing um all right so we'll just go with this box because it's open so here are the first pair of shoes um i got a lot of shoes that I've been wanting but just haven't gotten so now I feel like I have an excuse to get them now because I have credits so I've been wanting some like black platform shoes and I think platform shoes I feel like they're out of trend but I feel like also they are a classic so I don't feel like they're shoes that go out of style I, I, I don't know that's just maybe that's just me um because I feel like I see these 
you know style up all you know every year year after year after year so um the first pair i got are these so these are some black platform shoes i say the first pair because i got more platform shoes so i saw these and just thought i would scoop these up um i'm not a heels girl but um as long as the heel is you know pretty low and i can walk on a platform because you know the platform um makes it high but then it also has this heel too so a platform to me is not too difficult to walk in although sometimes it kind of makes you feel like you're walking like frankenstein or something um but these kind of shoes i can walk in and you know my feet not feel like my feet not hurt so um but yeah so these are the ones first ones i got it says shoe dazzle like a shoe dazzle um or just that bought shoe dazzle maybe um but yeah so i got these these are in a size 10 i believe yeah most of the i think all these shoes are in a size 10 so these are the first pair I got, and like I said, these are just classic. I'll have them in my wardrobe forever, and I can wear these year-round with literally anything. So, that's the first pair I got. And then the next pair I got are these. All these say Shoe Dazzle, but I got them on Just Fab. So, um, the next pair of platforms I got are these. And these definitely, I've been wanting, I wanted these last year, actually, when the Barbie movie came out. Um, we know that everybody was wearing like these pink platform heels and I just, I just didn't bite the bullet. Really, I didn't find any. I couldn't find any. So, um, this is fulfilling my Barbie, <laughs> my little Barbie, um, error, I guess, that I never did have when Barbie was out. Um, but yeah, so the next pair I got are these pink ones and these are definitely remind me of like the Valentino or the Versace or Versace. Um, so these are actually the same shoe as the black except in this different color because y'all know when I like something I get it in multiple colors So had to get them in the pink. I also have these in green that I got from Zara So I have some similar to this from Zara. So now I have them in the pink. So um, But yeah, love these definitely gonna be getting my wear out of these um, They will be cute. It's like a little pop of color like if I wear like an all-black outfit like a black dress or something um, a nice black dress and then wear these as my pop of color. I think that'll be cute. So but Yeah, I'm gonna just kind of like run through these because yeah, they're just shoes. So um, But yeah, so that's the next pair of shoes And then the next pair of shoes I got again these are um, shoe dazzle brand are these and they are so cute um, I love denim and i've been trying to find some denim shoes or denim boots i should say um that that i just like that i really just like honestly so i found these denim booties on just fab and i love these because they have like the little silver toe cap detail here and the heel is pretty manageable like i, I think it's like a three inch heel anything higher than a four or five girl i can't walk in um but i thought these are cute they have like a zipper detail on the side and they kind of give me western vibes but i really love these i thought these would be cute styled up with it, really anything because to me denim is a neutral and can you know go with anything but i mainly got them because of the silver cap detail i think shoes like that are kind of coming back in style with like the little cap toe so really love those and definitely been wanting to get some like i said some denim boots i have some denim um mules that i got i think from mango but i've been wanting some denim boots so definitely gonna rock those before it gets like too cold or too hot to really be wearing boots but again um i can wear those you know in the fall time in the winter time you know right now i'll wear these in the spring actually depending on how the weather is so they'll be cute with like a nice spring dress so yeah so those are the next pair of shoes and then here are the next pair as you can see these are probably boot because this box is so big um so yeah so here are these boots and i really love these i've been trying to find some silver metallic boots um for a while and so i saw these on the site and thought these were so cute they're more of like a, I think on the website they're advertised as gunmetal, so they're not like that really shiny, just, you know, that shiny um, silver. They're more like a gunmetal. <laughs> so I love these, and these actually have some padding in them, which I guess kind of makes them comfortable. But yeah, I love these. They kind of look like, look like a little snake print, if you will, but they are in this like silver 
metallic tone which I love I'm not gonna open the other one like I said I'm trying to rush through these these next one pretty quickly um but yeah love these love the heel the heel height is not too you know too high um and I have like a little zipper detail on the side they don't zip up all the way but they kind of look a little bit westerny kind of especially like with this um detail here at the top so but yeah love those and those you know checked off my box of wanting to get um some metallic silver metallic boots i saw some on amazon that i wanted to get um but like i said they were like really shiny like that shiny silver and i like i like those the ones um, from just fab because they're not in like that that shiny silver material you know i just i don't know i do have some silver boots like some silver booties that are like in that shiny silver material or yeah detail but yeah i just wanted something that wasn't so shiny all right so this is the next box and these are actually from just fab and i haven't even opened these up so we're gonna open these up together here let me put you guys down so you can kind of see oh i really love these yes yeah. Really love these, y'all. So these are the next pair of boots, and they are a knee-high boot as well. And they are in this um, brown tone, as you can see. And they also have like this cap detail here, like this cap toe detail. Like I told you guys, these that's kind of coming back in right now, but like this cap toe. And these kind of remind me of like a western boot, if you will. Yeah, because they have like that. They have like a little pattern here on the side. I don't know if you guys can see, like this. Kind of like westerny kind of pattern it's kind of camouflaged into the boot so you can't tell but they're like in a this faux suede it's definitely doesn't definitely doesn't feel like the suede of like my adidas sambas <laughs> this is a obviously a faux suede um because it's kind of rough but um i really like these boots and the heel is pretty manageable so yeah definitely gonna be um excited to wear these this will look, these actually will look cute with the um denim skirt that i got from Aritzio, like a denim skirt that denim skirt with these boots and like i don't know like a white i have like a white um like crop tee that i got from cause over the summer or like a white button down shirt i don't know it'll be cute or 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 my um faux fur coat yeah that'll be an outfit i'm gonna wear that outfit actually i'm gonna create that outfit so stay tuned you're gonna see that outfit soon so um but yeah really love those boots um that's this is my first time seeing these some of the, the the boots that i showed you guys earlier in this box i've seen those but this stuff here in these next this next box which is only two pieces um i haven't even seen these things so first impressions i really love these so super glad i got those in the last box of shoes in this particular box so there are three boxes these came in three boxes because i think i did three orders um here are the next pair of boots put you guys down and these are some platforms so yeah so yeah love these these are cute um so they're like some new platforms um like i said i went platform crazy i don't know why because i'm not a heels girl but most of these shoes are heels so yeah i guess i'm in my heels era um but yeah so i've been wanting some heels like this these would be cute for me to wear um date night i could wear these you know to church or something um yeah love these love the color the color is perfect for these and yeah so a lot of these boots are boots that i've kind of like been wanting or a lot of these shoes i should say are shoes that i've kind of been wanting but just never really really bit the bullet and got so a lot of these are checking off like wish lists from years ago so um yeah so that is that box now let me get into the final box y'all and we will be done like i feel like this haul is becoming chaotic because there's so much so many things um but yeah so here's the last box and um like i said um i didn't get a lot of clothing or i did get some clothing pieces from um just fab so this is the next item i got and this is another wish list item or a piece that i've been wanting um and this is a denim trench coat and it's 
definitely lightweight so I definitely could not wear this in the winter time unless I'm like really layering up because it is super thin um, but I like that because I can wear this year round I feel like I can wear this in um, I can wear it now because the temperatures is like in the 50s and 60s now so I can wear this now with like a light sweater underneath it I can wear it in the springtime obviously I can wear it in the summertime too like if I want to like at night for instance if, as long as it's not like really hot and of course it will look good in the fall time so this is a cute piece like I said I've been wanting to get a um, denim trench coat for the longest and um, I, like I said this will look cute with that um, let me get it out actually this will be cute with my denim skirt that I got from Aritzia so I don't know I thought the colors kind of looked the same but definitely two different colors but I feel like it still will work because they're both still like that dark denim wash although the skirt is a little bit lighter but I feel like it still will work I don't know would it work with the boots the denim boots that I bought you think it would work with that let me see if I can find the denim boots um we'll do that later y'all because this video is already super long so let me just get through the video <laughs> but um i don't know if it will look how it will look with the denim boots maybe that's too much denim i like denim on denim though but i feel like that would probably be too much denim so um but it definitely would be cute with that skirt that denim skirt um but yeah so here is the denim trench coat and it has um like some tortoiseshell buttons on it it has like this tie detail um this is very thin so it's definitely like a sh actually like a shirt material so it's definitely not anything too thick um, it's just definitely just, you know, like a little extra little layering piece actually. So, um, but I like the wash of it, this dark wash. I think they had it in a lighter wash, but I prefer the dark wash for this. So, um, so that is the next little clothing item I got. And I think, was that the last? I guess that was the last. Y'all yeah, got so much stuff. I don't even remember what I got. Um, I guess that's all the things that I got from Just Fab. Um, because I also have... I forgot about this piece, y'all. I have something from Nine West. Um, hold on. Yeah, that's yeah. This is a box from yeah. This is Nine West box. So yeah. So those are all the things that I got from Just Fab. <laughs> I have something from Nine West too. So yeah. So surprise, surprise. Um, but yeah. So I also got some shoes from Nine West. Um, I've been wanting some shoes like this too. Um, and burgundy is just become a color that I've just fallen in love with and I saw these on the Nine West website and just had to get them. I've opened these up already too so let me just pan you guys down so you can see um like I said I've opened these up but yeah so these are the next pair of like um these platforms and these are more of like a Mary Jane style. I don't have a lot of Mary Jane shoes and I'm trying to like really get into like the Mary Janes um here lately. Um so yeah I thought these were so cute like this is a, a, such a cute vibe. I love these shoes. Um, and I love the color of them, like this burgundy color. And these were on sale from not for from Nine West. Um, I don't know how much they were. They were on sale. They I definitely paid under $100 for these. So I just thought they were so cute. And, you know, I can style these up and dress these up. Or I can dress them down with, like, some jeans. Or these would look cute with that denim skirt from Aritzia. Like, the denim skirt maybe with some probably wear like some tights or something with that with these and maybe that denim jacket that would be a cute look too so but yeah love these from nine west i actually forgot i got those shoes too y'all it's it's been a lot um it's been a journey here <laughs> with this haul so um i hope i didn't bore you too much i'm sorry that it was super long but these were all the things that i got for my birthday um that i bought myself and also that my husband bought me so i definitely treated myself this year um like i said everything that i showed you guys i will link down in the description box in case you were interested some of these pieces i've had for a few weeks so i don't know if they're still available and some of these things i got on sale so i don't know if they're still available but i will link everything that i can down below i'm trying to make sure that's everything y'all because i actually forgot about these nine west shoes um but i think that's everything pretty sure pretty sure if not obviously i'll show it on another vlog but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope this inspires you that you know 
not that you have to go out and do all this shopping girl but just to treat yourself for your birthday if you're not a person that likes to shop and it's into fashion i'm a fashion person i'm a fashion content creator this is what i do for my side hustle um so obviously i like fashion um but you might be a person that likes you know to go to the spa or like experiences do that you know you don't have to do what i did and buy up a whole bunch of stuff um i just that's just what i do i love fashion um but like i said if you're a person that likes into experiences then definitely you know treat yourself book that flight girl book that trip book that hotel room you know you can do a staycation um like next door into you know at like your local you know um city or something or like a local town that has like a nice cute little bed and breakfast or something like let this be your motivation to really just enjoy your time enjoy your birthday enjoy your birthday month um celebrate yourself treat yourself like a lot of people don't i noticed that a lot of people don't do that don't you know celebrate their birthday like that but i feel like you know any day that you um are able to live and you know the, any day that you are able to you know have another year i should say in this world in this life is a blessing so you definitely should um you know celebrate it you know celebrate it definitely celebrate it so um but yeah that is it that's all we're going to talk about today <laughs> we're not going to do anything else today i'm going to try to find um places to put this stuff because i have a lot of stuff i think i'm going to do a closet purge that's what i'm going to do i'm going to purge some of the stuff that i have in my wardrobe that i don't use and get rid of it and um make room for this stuff because i got a lot of stuff that i have to find a place for so um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe um, and hit the post notification bell so that you guys don't miss any of, my, any of my uploads. And stay tuned because obviously, like I said, I'm a fashion and style girly. So I will definitely be styling up a lot of these pieces, all these pieces actually, in some upcoming videos. So definitely subscribe so that you don't miss any of them and so that you can see how I style these pieces up because yeah this video is already long so we're not going to style them up in this video so um yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video all right bye guys <music>